Hey everyone, No Tempest Star here, and in this video I wanted to show you a how-to on a self-love spell. So, um, you may have, you may notice that, um, my candle here has been lit, that's because I tried filming this video and I forgot to push record. <laughs> I filmed it almost the entire way through and then I realized I wasn't even recording, so rather than waste another candle, I'm just going to go ahead and use what I have because this is just a sample video anyway, this isn't me, this isn't me actually casting a spell. Um, so let's get started the self-love spell so um that's pretty much what it is it's in the name self-love that's what you're doing um for yourself you're manifesting um self-love um this has been a request for so so long from many different people asking me i need a spell to bring back my self-confidence and raise my self-esteem and um i feel um you know like i'm um like i'm not appreciating myself or um, respecting myself and things like that. So this is perfect, you guys. This is really perfect. Um, I was up a few nights ago to like three or four in the morning coming up with um, self-love spells. This is the first of three that I will be sharing. Um, this is this one's pretty simple. That's why I wanted to start off with this one. Um, so rather than me rambling on and on, let's just get started. So things that you will need. Um, this is going to be pretty much a letter, a love letter to yourself from yourself. So we have... Um, an envelope here, a piece of paper, something to write with. I'm using a red pen. Um, you need a candle, um, pink, red, or white are preferable, but um, I'm going with the color correspondences for the candle, but you can also use your favorite color because um, it's to your liking, it's, it's just for you, and you know yourself best, so you can use whichever color you like. These are just the colors that I would use. Um, but like I said, your favorite color. Mine is green and white, or mine's are green and white, I should say. Um, but yeah, I would use pink for this can for this uh, love spell, self love spell. I'm so excited, you guys! If you can tell, I love love. You guys know that I love love. So if I'm like going too fast and I need to like calm down, I'm gonna try and catch myself because I love I love love and um, self love is the best. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, so we have um, a jasmine incense here. Um, we have a pin. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of like really tiny. A pin, and this is what we're gonna use to inscribe the candle. Now my herbal blend here. This is a mixture of um, rose petals. These are dried. This is red and white um, rose petals, and these are dried. And then I have a cinnamon stick here. And inside the bowl, I have some rosemary as well. Um, I actually use the rest of my rosemary, so I can't show you. You know, I can't like pick it out. <laughs> and then um, here in this little bottle here, this is one of my favorite um, things to use in spell work. This is stardust. Oh, we get in a frame. This is Stardust, and um, it's also known as Salonite Powder. Um, I make this my, myself, and it's really easy to make. I'll be making um, a how-to video on this, and it'll probably be under a minute, because that's how easy it is to make. Um, this is Salonite. This is from a, crystal, a raw crystal, um, raw Salonite. Um, and I'll be going into the properties uh, right now of each thing. Um, so let's see here. Let's start with um, this herbal mixture. Um, okay, so we all know that flowers, um, they symbolize love. So those are their properties um, that have to do with love. For this spell, I'm not going with the um, color correspondences for the roses because um, red symbolize um, something and then white symbolizes a different thing. And uh, I'm just going, you know, um, generally speaking, you know, just using roses. Um, and you don't, also to throw in there, you don't have to go with um, the actual properties of any herb, you know, they're not set in stone like I've always said before, you know, um, to each their own and just use your intuition. So if you come up with ingredients that are completely different from this and those are to your liking, then use them by all means. I support it completely and I actually recommend that more, you know, make this your own, um, use this as um, your concept and build from it. That's uh, to each their own. Okay, so um, roses are for love. So I'm using jasmine incense and I'm using roses. And then um, the rosemary that's within here. Um, rosemary attracts good energies. Um, it's really great for protection, so I'm using it um, to protect against um, ill thoughts towards yourself, like self-doubt and um, you know um, things like that. And then it also promotes love as well, so it's perfect for this. And then I have a cinnamon stick here. Um, cinnamon, I wanted to add a fiery kick to the spell. I wanted to bring I wanted to bring the heat and just pretty much bring everything else, you know, all the um, the energies that are going in with this. I wanted to bring it all together, so that's perfect. So cinnamon, and it smells great. Every time I get a cinnamon stick, I have to smell it for some reason, and it smells so good. So um, that's that. And then the last ingredient I have here is uh, my stardust, aka salonite powder, 
So Stardust, um, Selene is an angelic stone. It dispels negativity on both emotional and etheric levels. And um, it also brings peace and harmony. So that's perfect for this, um, for this spell. So um, let's go into the symbolism of this love letter for a second. So the envelope here, this is going to represent your heart. So you can um, decorate this any way you like. You can draw a big old heart on it. You can draw a nice picture. Um, do whatever you want with this. This is symbolizing your heart, okay? So um, to throw in really quick, self-love spells should be done by yourself. Don't have, I wouldn't have anybody do them for you. You want to do this for yourself. So um, this is your heart. Let's jump back into that. This is your heart. This is... Um, Whatever you're going to put inside is what you want to fill your your actual heart with. Um, so, um, self-love spell, um, you know, it can be used for um, some of us that um, have a hard time um, opening up to love of different forms. So, um, that, that could be the symbolism behind this too, is actually um, opening up your heart, you know. So, um, to give you an idea of what you can write in your letter, I'm going to go ahead and read you what I wrote. Um, this is an example, so um, I'm comfortable sharing it. So my letter says, Dear Noah, I am writing you this letter to tell you how much I truly love you. I am so proud of the person you have become. You really are making an impact in this world and are building towards a better tomorrow. I love how passionate you are and how you go out of your way to express those things with the world. I love your sense of humor, how easily amused you are, your personality, your brilliant mind, your precious heart and soul. Always know that you are loved, you have purpose, and you are wanted. Much love and many blessings, Noah T. And so this is a letter here. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it back up. So um, a quick tip when you're writing your letter, um, you want to take time before you begin writing, you can write a rough draft if you like. You want to take time and, and um, um, meditate, meditate on it. You know, um, activate your your spirit in in a way. Um, when I was writing this letter to tell you guys honestly, I um, I did do that. And um, when I was finished, I'm like, wow, like you know, I've never told myself this, or I've never really thought of myself in this way, and things like that. And so I felt in a way like it came from somewhere else. Like it, it was still me, but it came from somewhere else. Like it wasn't, I wasn't conscious when I was, I wasn't fully conscious when I was writing it, if I could say it like that. Um, so meditate on it, you know, um, find a nice quiet place and clear your mind and get out that pen and paper and start writing and, um, you know, write a rough draft and cross out things or whatever you need to do, whatever you feel you need to do, and then write another copy in. Just, you know, everything that you're doing in spell work is energy and you're, putting an energy into everything um, involved in your working. So the letter, you're expressing that um, in, in its rawest form. So um, you have your letter here. Um, so now you have all of your basic ingredients. Uh, let's get started with the actual spell. So now that I, I just want to make sure that I am recording this. Yes, I am. Okay, so you want to light your incense. This is gonna set the mood for, not the mood, the setting for the spell. Um, there we go. And I know you guys can't see the smoke, but it is smoking. And then on your candle, I've already written it, but I'm gonna show you what you can write. Okay, so you have something to write with. I like to use a pen, because it's just like, it's a lot, it's easily maneuverable. So um, mm. you can write self-love on this candle. You can write, um, I love you, and then write your name or initials. Um, what I wrote is love from me to me, and um, I know you can't see it. You can see like it says love right here, but love from me to me, that's what I wrote. It kind of melts a little bit. Anyways, yeah, so I wrote that on here, and then you want to light this candle. I'm going to set it aside so I don't burn myself. So remember, your heart, your envelope. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so you want to take the envelope and you want to run it. Oops, let me put it on this side. That makes way more sense in a lot. You want to take your envelope and you want to run it through the instant smoke. I'm using jasmine for love. You can use red rose. You can use lotus. Um, 
anything with like flowery scent would be perfect but you can also go with your favorite incense if you like this is this is a spell for you so you want to take your letter too This is just instilling it with those energies and making it smell really good at the same time. Oops. And then lastly, you wanna take your envelope again and you wanna let the smoke fill the inside as well. You're filling your heart with love. Okay, so now that you've done that, you wanna take your letter and you wanna place it inside. Make sure you face your letter like this so that you can get some of the herbal mixture in, in the letter as well. And then you want to just take your um, herbal blend here. You just want to blend this with your hands. You can use a mortar and pestle if you like, but I just like to blend it with my hands. Mesh all those energies together. And so I've taken the um, rose petals, the um, cinnamon stick, and I crushed it. This is like half of what, the half that's left, but I crushed half of it and I put it inside. I grabbed some selenite dust and I put it inside as well. So it's all, all the energies are nice and meshed together already. And you want to take this and you want to put it inside. So this is what you're promoting. This is what you want to bring in and um, give to yourself, you know, and put it in your heart. The love, the peace, the happiness, the good energies, the protection from ill thoughts. So you put them inside the letter and you want to fill the envelope as well. So it's like all encompassing. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the stardust. Just a little bit. This is going to bring you peace and harmony. I love stardust, you guys. I use this in a lot of my spell work, so... Okay, so that's pretty much what you're gonna do with that. And you know, now you wanna seal it, so you, you're gonna wanna lick it and seal it up. Okay. Then you wanna take that candle that we, um, inscribed before and you want to take the wax and you want to seal the edges The love is going to come in and it's going to stay. And you want to go ahead and let this cool. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and blow on it so that um, the wax cools faster. Okay, so I went ahead and blew on it to make the wax go faster just for the sake of this video, but for me when I would be casting this spell, I would allow it to cool on its own. And this allows you time to just sit with yourself and appreciate yourself. So as that's going, now that it's finished, um, you want to make sure that it's cool so you can like run your finger across it and make sure that it's not um, like uh, liquidy anymore. Make sure that it's nice and solid and cool because you're going to be kissing this just once. You're going to seal it with a kiss. And you're going to say, sealed with a kiss, I did place 
I now walk with my love's embrace. And I'll say it one more time and then I'll add it in the description box. Sealed with a kiss, I did place. I now welcome my love's embrace. And that's it. You're finished with your spell. What you want to do with this letter is you want to place it either under your pillow or under your bed. Somewhere near, somewhere, um, you know, near to you. You can um, place it, if you have like a nightstand, you can place it in a drawer or on top of the nightstand. Um, somewhere where it's going to be close to you, basically. Um, I like, I would leave this um, either under my bed or, or under my pillow and things like that and um, let the magic do its work. And it's going to work beautifully for you because it's going to attract all those things that you put into it. It's going to bring in the love. It's going to open up your heart first and foremost because that was the symbolism behind it. You're opening up your heart to love from yourself. It's going to attract love and good energies and give you that protection that you need from any ill thoughts you know that may come in the future and things like that. Um, it's going to bring you peace, love, joy, and harmony. And who doesn't need all that? So that's pretty much it for this spell, you guys. I hope um, you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Feel free to reach me on any social media I have to offer here on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, or Kick. I'll leave all that information below. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Much love and many blessings.